the Joe Rogan experience. The we bell are rise. Rise. Yeah, thanks. What's going on? How are you, fuckers? Doing great, on? man. It's great to be on the show again. Great to have you guys here. Um, you know, I was watching your Instagram the other day, and I was looking at you with fake hips doing crazy fucking heavy deadlifts, man. That's amazing. I am starting to deadlift a little bit more uh, because I've been doing this carnivore diet, and I feel great. And there's no reason not to, right? So um, I just figured uh, if I can do it and it doesn't hurt, then uh, why not? So uh, I, w I was going up to about 400 pounds, but I think I can still, I think I can even get stronger now. So what I am so happy about is this is something squatting and deadlifting. It's something that was part of my life all growing up. I was a power lifter all growing up. He's the one who got me into the shit. And it, it got taken away from me. And I was really sad and disappointed, became a drug addict and an alcoholic because of it. And now I can lift again. So I feel good. That is, is that unusual for someone who's got artificial hips to be able to do something like that? Um, do you know? Do you, how many people you do know, you know that have artificial hips? Well, I do know that Ed Cohn, who's the greatest power lifter of all time, he has two fake hips now, right? Yeah, I think so. And I think he still squats 600. Jeez. Yeah, he can still lift so fake weight. hips? Yeah, at, at Eddie Cohn. Check him out. He's Holy a beast. Holy shit. Fake hips squatting 600 pounds? They it's say insane. that is like one of the most effective replacement yeah. surgeries that they do. Is replacing yeah, people's hips. I think it's a, a great. Thing. It's been a big deal. I think it's a great surgery. Before I got it done, I mean, I couldn't even get up out of a chair. I was, I'd be stuck. You know, I would, I would stick places. And um, before I got it done, I couldn't really move at all. And then after I got it done, they had botched one side, so one side went perfect. The other side, for two years, was all screwed up, and the doctors didn't know it. What was screwed up about it? Um, the the cup. There's a cup, and then there's the ball that goes into mm -hmm. the cup. The cup came loose, oh, and no. and it would it would shift around. Now they think the cup comes loose because when you do both hips at the same time, they hammer one hip into one side, and then you're completely like a dead body almost, and they flip you over. It's really and violent, they, actually. When they flip you over, they think that's when the hip <clears throat> might uh, that that socket may come out. So um, they're starting to to question doing them both on the same day now. Yeah, I've heard of people getting one done and then a couple months later. I would recommend getting one done because then when I got my other one, when I got the one that was messed up redone, and I had one good leg and one you know one leg to recover yeah. on, it was so much easier. I didn't have to have the special toilet and all the other stupid. You could things be on crutches instead of being a wheelchair, probably right. If you only had one, I actually time. I actually wasn't even on crutches. I came home from the hospital. And that day that I came home from the hospital, I was I was walking. I even climbed a ladder, and our mom yelled at us, yelled at me because I climbed a ladder. And she's like, "What are you doing? You just got a, a hip surgery!" And I'm Ugh. like, "I got to change this light bulb." <laughs> now I would think that one good benefit about weightlifting would be increasing bone density, and That's that huge. you would want that if our, you have uh, artificial hips, especially because you got that bar that yeah, goes down got, deep into the bone we, of the hip. We just got a DEXA scan done. We got weird shit going on. We got really weird shit going on. We had a DEXA scan done, and Dr. Jacob Wilson told us that our bone, was it bone min mineral den density? Density, yeah. It was, mine Mine was like off the charts, but his was way off the charts. Yeah, his and then was like, uh, we also got a muscle it. biopsy done by uh, Dr. Andy Galpin. And he's just like, dude, I love I, that guy. He's like, I don't know what the fuck's going on with your, with my muscle and his muscle. He's like, but we need to talk about this more. And so it's, it's called steroids. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So he said he wanted to uh, interview me more and, and talk to me more about like what I've taken over the years and yeah. all those different things. It works. Yeah, it <laughs> fucking a, works. There's a reason why people do it. <laughs> I, I just it's think so I heard you talking the other day about throwing a, a roundhouse kick, and he said it's a second nature to you. Yeah. And I think for us, we've been lifting for right. so long. Sure. And a lot of this stuff, even when I was a drug addict and alcoholic, the entire time I still trained every day I wasn't doing as good of a job but I still would make it to the gym every right. day it's ingrained in us right it's something that we've been doing forever so I think so your that, body's just designed for it it's essentially I don't know if it's designed for well it, not designed but you've sort of designed it you know, I, I think it's something that found us you know like, really? we, like we did kind of stumble upon it but I think it's something that found us and it's uh you know I, I was strong right out of the gate he was strong right out of the gate I mean I remember uh, my friends benching in the garage and they were benching the bar, maybe a 10 on each side. And I was, you know, doing a plate, doing 185, 12 years old. You know, he was an animal when he was young. There was just so. something there. There was some sort of strength. My mom, our mom, benched uh, what she one thirty five. Yeah, she. Your benched. mom can bench one thirty five. Uh, like right off, you know, like without ever lifting. She I want to say her, I think she benched one eighty five. She might have in the same day. That's she, what Joey Diaz would say. Immigrant mentality. Where's <laughs> yeah. your mother from? Yeah. <laughs> Where's she from? She, she's uh, Polish, right? There you go. Yeah, I just got some of my hard shit fucking done. I'm just, people. I'm just white. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, we're we're a mutt, we're like a mutt mix. Yeah. We're did you get twenty three and me done? We yeah. he, he got, did uh, it. I got one of those things done, and I yeah, I'm like Irish and Ita- I'm like only four percent Italian. I thought we were more, but it makes 10%. no sense. Our grandmother was directly from yeah. Sicily, so I don't I don't understand how that. Happened. Yeah, we don't know what's going on. Yeah, well, uh, even if she's from Sicily, who knows like how, what happened when yeah. she was over there? Yeah, yeah. where she came from. <laughs>